Welcome to Ghana Slovers TV. I'm your host, Augustine. Yesterday, Chelsea was defeated by um, Liverpool 2 1. And the controversy came up when Tosi um, was involved in a 1 1 with um, Diego Jota. And in the process, uh, fouled him. But um, a yellow was what was given. And uh, so many fans have gone online to liken it to the one that Saliba had against uh, um, when we played against Bournemouth. Um, a lot of controversy going on in the Premier League at the moment. Some fans felt that the Premier League referees are a joke. Another one said that what is the difference between Saliba's one and the other one? It's just the same thing and it's a stonewall red card that should have been given. Of course, the the other uh, opponent from the, the team, their fans, uh, reacted to say, no, 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 no it's not uh, the same. That uh, Conwell played uh, this guy in. That's why. That's why it, uh, it was not uh, giving us a stonewall red card. Well. Don't forget as now soon the referee had given yellow or to Gillet, the VR Roman called him to go out and increase it. So in yesterday's uh, what do you call it? Uh, in the post-match briefing from Ateta, he mentioned the fact that we have to move on and that um, we have to cut out these uh, errors that we are making. Because as it is, the referees are not anybody's friend. They can help any team sink if they give them the opportunity to sink, to sink them. Uh, he said Saliba has never done this before, and that uh, Saliba has, of course, the best interests of the team at heart, which we have mentioned in our video. And of course, as it is, um, Saliba will not play the next match, which is against Liverpool. So it is a sad thing, but we have to move on from it. And uh, he praised the effort of the team in the sense that we have played three matches this season with 10 men. And, uh, you know, Brighton will got something out of it. Man City will got something out of it. But this one, we couldn't escape it. So it was like uh, a keg of gunpowder. So we, we have to really mind the way we position ourselves on the field of play because when you are caught out there's nothing you can do about it you cut catch you out uh, defense out you start running scrambling for how to cover up now the match against Chelsea and Liverpool was very tough I think Chelsea has the same similar problem like Arsenal where they don't have a very strong and prolific striker Jackson, uh, the only difference between him and Jesus now is that Jackson scores, Jesus does not score. In fact, sometimes Jesus doesn't even make the first 11. Jackson makes the first 11. So, if Chelsea had a prolific striker, <coughs> excuse me, when they played Liverpool, like you have uh, Jota, you have uh, Salah, you have uh, Gapu, and they have all this everywhere. Liverpool have them in our corners. Chelsea does not have that in abundance. You see, and on the stage where uh, Chelsea is now, one would have expected them to beat Liverpool because and slot and slot just came in. Uh, even yes, and even Maraska just came in. So, but I don't know how much time Maraska has had with the with the team. So I won't say that uh, they are most at the same level. I think Liverpool is a little bit uh, higher in level than them because Liverpool is a settled team before it was handed over to Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea has, <clears throat> has been in chaos. That's why there was a change of uh, managerial position. So I don't know what could have Chelsea could have done better than what they did. Uh, I don't think Chelsea's defense will be able to withstand run of play that will be going on in Premier League before even the January transfer window. 
the defenders that Chelsea have, they might not be able to withstand it. Because just the test from Liverpool yesterday, they were all cut out, cut out every time. Look at the second goal that Curtis Jones scored. You know, he, he, he was like a tapping. And then, of course, Sanchez, your keeper, was already frightened from getting away from the one on one uh, situation we had before with the Liverpool player. So, that would have led to, led to a penalty. Salah's uh, penalty was slick and he entered for the first goal. So, at the moment, just um, uh, Arsenal is still number three, four points away from the top, three points away from Man City. So, it's not over until it's over. Uh, the season just started and a lot of surprises will come. I have mentioned it many times that we have a wobbly Man City at the moment. They are struggling and just as our Arsenal's uh, red card playing with them and cut, out with them, cut up with them against Bournemouth, the Ars will soon catch up with them because they, they, they met a very strong and resilient wolf team. If you have a stronger team like Liverpool has good strikers and they were in the position wolves were yesterday, I don't think Man City would have won that much. People always say that Man City find a way of winning. Yes, but this season is a different one. Like she has subscribed on Francisco and Aslan are saying they're always talking to you. Remember, this is Chris Lamps. Share this video to your friends. Please subscribe after this video.